I'm Felicity Green and this is the Surface and Nano Analysis Laboratory. So we're interested in looking at particularly mass spectrometry to characterise the surface. And mass spectrometry is, is a, a very nice technique because it gives us a lot of chemical rich information. So rather than just giving us a, a snapshot of the, of the surface like a photograph, it actually gives us a, uh, a chemical picture of the surface. So I can tell where, for example, if I was looking at a crisp, I could tell where the salt was on the, on the surface of the crisp, or I could tell where the potato was. So this big arm here is the C60 gun, and, and this is um, a primary arm for firing things down at the surface, and it's actually full of these buckyballs, and each of these uh, black spheres represent a carbon, and it makes up this kind of football-like shape, and it's a very stable, carbaceous structure. And what's actually inside here, you know, these buckyballs up here, they get ionised, and then they get fired down into the surface, smash into the surface, the surface breaks up, and we get release of material into the uh, mass spectrometer. Effectively, it's like taking a football, firing it down onto the pitch so hard that mud and grass and uh, a bit of the paint from the line all scatters off. And then we can actually take a picture of that and we can see which bits were lines and which bits were mud and which bits were grass. The way that the spectrometry works is once you have material that's been released from the surface, then you're interested in trying to analyse what it is. Um, and the kind of scientific detail is that you actually accelerate the material up and, and you see the smallest things will be moving fastest and the large, big, bulky things will be moving slowest. So if you detect them at one end of this long chamber up here, then at the end of it, the, the very small things will hit it first, and the very large things which are moving along slowly will hit it last. So you end up with being able to tell the size difference of what you've got, and effectively the mass of what you've got. And through the mass of each component, you can then um, use the chemical specification to work out what it might be. So the kind of um, reason that this might be important for industrial use or for applications, we've worked with companies to look at things such as a conditioning products on hair. So if you can imagine you've got a conditioning product and you're trying to see where does it go on the hair, what does it do, where does it end up, you need some sort of analytical method to be able to see it. And this is a perfect technique, the SIMS technique is a perfect technique for imaging exactly where the molecule ends up on the hair. So another nice application is something like packaging. And again, this is something you really use in your everyday life. If you go into the supermarket and you pick up a, a bag of salad, you don't probably give it a lot of thought. But actually, that packaging is rather complicated and high technology. And the reason for this is it's a multi-layer of all sorts of different things in there. You've got one layer, which is carefully keeping the salad nice and fresh, so it's stopping stuff going into there. But you've also got another layer, which is stopping it misting up so that when the water in the salad kind of comes off, you don't get a misty layer, you've got a nice clear see-through panel so you can see the salad. And then you've got perhaps a top layer which is for printing on, so you get a very nice printed image as well. So all of these different layers are just very, very, very thin, nanoscale kind of layers, but because they're piled on top of each other, you can get all these different types of properties.